Shirley Ballas has brushed off warnings from BBC bosses against speaking publicly about Giovanni Pernice, stepping to defend her under fire pal once again. The scandal hit former Strictly dancer, 33, who quit the BBC show this year after facing allegations of abuse against at least three ex-partners, is currently under investigation by the Beeb. The probe came after the celebrities complained to legal firm Carter Ruck. And the drama has seen scrutiny thrown on the hit ballroom show, which celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. This week The Mirror told how BBC chiefs have asked head judge Shirley to rein in her support of the Italian dancer, after she made it known he had always been a perfect gentleman to her. They are said to be keen to quiet the drama around the series. But asked on The Mirror's Invite Only podcast if the BBC were annoyed by her past comments, Shirley, who has known Giovanni for a decade, brushed off the question. And she went on to say she refuses to believe the rumors about her friend unless they are proven to be true. Shirley said, All I can say is that we have got some of the best professionals in the world on our show. They're caring, and they're kind, and they're loving, and they give all of themselves, because they are actually quite competitive as well. They want the very best for their students, and they give absolutely everything that they can to the show. I've known Giovanni for 10 years, I can say that, and has been very, very good to me. Very, very good to me. I'm not a person that believes in gossip, I tend not to believe everything I read, because people have written things about me that are just not true. So I don't believe gossip, but, you know, the truth prevails. I can only talk about the experiences I've had, I don't know other people's. But my mum's always been a huge fan, of his, and has always been good to my family. Shirley, who joined Strictly in 2017, has since launched a career as a novelist and released her debut novel Murder on the Dance Floor last year. And she admitted the tome, the first in a series titled The Sequin Mysteries is inspired by the scandal and intrigue she has seen on, and off, the dance floor over the years. She went on, Do I plan to keep writing? Well the thing is with my industry, is that Terry's a drama every week, and it's ongoing. So I just sit there and think, oh, Terry's another story for my book. And there, and there. So I just write them all down. I think that as long as somebody wants me to write, I will write. But I'm not the only strictly judge to write books. Craig Revel Horwood's written books, and Anton Dubekesh written books. Anton loves to write, you know, and Craig always has something coming out. But we're all in our own lanes, so to speak. Although, Shirley pauses, with a glint in her eye, I actually covered Anton's books up with my books in one of the supermarkets the other day. I had a little bit of fun with that, yes. We did have a little bit of a laugh there. Shirley's debut novel Murder on the Dance Floor, The Sequin Mysteries is out in paperback now, published by HarperCollins. Sequel Dance to the Death will be released on 10th of October. Listen to Shirley's full interview at www.podfollow.com slash invitingly.